The recording is in progress. Since it is May 4th, it can be any year we see this video. It's always May 4th. And guide the force. You open up. Now, if you're not savvy to Star Wars, The Last Jedi, Luke talked about the Force being in everyone and everywhere and how we use it for our good or however people use it for their bad. But there was a little bit of both in us and it's what we choose to decide to do with it. In martial arts, there's those that go on to be healers or those that go on to be fighters. There's a balance in there. I chose the healing direction. Not fighting going on in the world, combat and otherwise, so I just rather assume to bring in some peacefulness. to be on the light side, not the dark side. As we give this big, enormous hug around the world to each other, to ourselves, and those that bring us positivity and connection. And as we're saying some uplifting words about ourselves, let's lift up our arms. Let the force sink over and through us. Imagine yourself levitating, feeling as light as the clouds or lighter than the clouds. And so when we extend and open, we see ourselves rise above the earth, drawn back to it. We sink to pause, feel the force within us. As through this practice, we find our Tai Chi. Our grand ultimate version of ourselves as our hands float in, sinking down. Let's come out to wide stance. Tiger Qigong. So the hands drift up, the claws go out. We take our breath in a slight extension of the spine. And as we exhale, we sink down, sit down, reach forward with an exhale. Let your spine slightly curve like the parentheses. And then we rise back up, the hands relax. We draw in the breath, guide the force to the front, sinking, pressing to the back and gathering it back up from the earth, the soles of your feet. A breath in, we draw the hands gently back up and let go. Open up. Exhale, guide the energy down through and back up again, recycling, recirculating. There we are. And we let go. Two more times, please. Unless your body asks for a third, this is letting your force guide you. Where the mind goes, the force flows, the chi. Last is here.
Got the claws out. Here you go. Feel the flexing in the hands. Now release the flexing the hands. Let the hands draw back to the heart. However you like your heels to so draw back underneath your hips and gather the vital life force. Sink the chi. Come down to pause. Feel through you what you felt through the motions. Focusing on breath. Releasing tension in the body. Letting the crown of the head drift to the stars. Our hands float in, sinking down. Now next we're going to work on our bow stance as we embrace the full moon with your sun cloud side down below and the other draws onto the top. So we know that the bottom hand is always going to be the foot that goes forward. So come on, let's take a step forward. That should be a balanced step. So pause here. Feel that the back heel is down, the front knee is bent. Reach the bottom hand out to me. A little bend to the elbow. The other hand presses, holds up the sky. And we let our body rotate to the extended leg behind. there's no more room to rotate we float back not holding let the top hand float down the bottom hand floats down and we're going to step back into place we turn the hands over with a breath in we take our step out now since we're doing dragon here we're just going to segment out the movement so we can get comfortable with it check that your knee is hinged or else when you try to rotate you're going to fall so we turn Find where your rotation is. Enjoy it. Come back in. Turn the moon over. And here we go. All one movement. We take a breath in. Step, exhale through the movement. Shh. We draw back in with a breath in. Step, release the chi. Wonderful movement, great for the kidneys, the spine, the hips. And we just gently alternate side to side. Let the entirety of the movement be an exhale on the rotation. And we draw back in with the inhalation. There we are. Now check the palm of the hand that holds up the sky. The fingers and thumbs should draw back to you. <sighs> One more we go over here to the side with the yin yang emblem. Symbol. A finding the lightness and the darkness, finding that space that brings us peace. And here, just turn the ball over, pull it through you, opening up, sinking down. Pause. Gather the chi. Cultivate, like we're holding the basket. Pause to feel. Experience the force within you. Hands floating in, sinking down. So we're going to do one more animal, leopard. So we come back out to our wide position. Now the other ways I see it practice is that they step out and then they turn and come back in. And then they step in to go back out. Well, we're just gonna save a little bit of time and hold the moon here. Cloud side is down. Reach both arms out. We rotate with our breath in to sink down. We exhale on the lean. And then the top hand stays the top hand. And we come back in to pause, reset our breath. <sighs> now, that side. Here we go. Reach out, breath in. 
sink, exhale, lean. We're gonna lean the weight over to the cloud side and we come back to center. I don't know about you, but I'm needing that in my side right about now. Here we go, a breath in. Exhale. Other side. Feel the weight shift. Feel the breath draw in. Sinking the weight equal to both legs. Then we side lean, shift our weight, and we let go. One more each side. Let's go to the clouds and sun. Up we go. Out we go. Last is here. Unless you feel the force calling you to do another. We bring our heels under our hips. The arms open. Gather the chi. Draw it in. Sink to pause. Feel. Breathe. And floating in, let's sink down. Bringing our feet together, I'm going to go back into camera here. We come to our Wu Ji position. Starting from the crown point down, we draw the crown up as the chin is tilted down slightly. We create that place in our mind space that brings us peace. Relax your jaw. The tongue was touching somewhere to the roof of the mouth. The shoulders feel heavy. The pelvis is tucked slightly under. And our elbows and knees always have a bend to them and here we feel the weight to the center of our feet not wavering front or back just to the center and let's open the door we're going to step out to the yin yang side so we sink down the leg you're stepping away from notice that there's any wavering of it shaking at all that's what we try to not let happen teacher would say again if that happens lift sink down Let, let's stay right here okay because as we sink down i want you to feel the energy traveling through the center of both feet and then we draw it back up and we sink it back down now here as we go up let's go over here to the sun and the clouds to embrace the moon, feel the weight shift completely so we can take our step out to part the horse's mane. So you remember now from here, your step back is going to be just as smooth as it went out. So we're going to reach out, let the elbows sink in as we step back in. Pour the weight into the sun and the clouds. We step out the part, the horse's mane again. Let's go back to the other side. Now from here, we're going to become the white crane that spreads its wings. So we tap the toe and we open up and the arms reach, we float back across. Crane on both sides. Feel the balance of the movement. Continual flow like our life force. Arm re arms reach back out. We come across. Now we're going to brush knee on both sides. Feel that your heels are under your hips. Feet are apart. Now remember, this is where the greater step ha or the greater turn happens, right? So the waist turns a bit more than usual. And then we float back over. Brush knee again. Greater turn through the waist. So your belly button kind of 
evens up with the inside of the thigh. We float to the other side. Now we brush knee just once. So set us up to bring the hands into the lower dantian so we can open up and play the peepaw. So we step out, empty step. Step in, play the peepaw to the other side. Now just once, just once right here. Let the hands stay in place. As we step in, the waist turns the hand back to center. Immediately, we go into opening up to repulse the monkey. Now here, let's go ahead and shift the weight side to side, raising your heel. And so if you raise your heel and you lean, then your foot's probably too far apart. I saw that happen today, I think it was. The feet were so far apart that when they opened up, they had to lean to the side. So we keep it under. The palms go to the sky. We take the breath in and push, pull, exhale. Pull the force forward and back. Maybe you feel it right here. And then you imagine elongating it. I think about a taffy machine for some reason. And that's how my energy feels. Not like taffy, but that elongation of what happens when they put it through the machine. Till the knees are bent, a little micro bend to the knees. There we go. Now this is the last one we're gonna open up. I'm gonna pull the hands across the sky. We roll back and we single whip. So over here to the cloud side, we hook. Two fingers, sword finger come up to the radial pulse. We L step out to the side and single whip. Let the hooked hand sink down. We step back into place. Let the hands just sway like a weeping willow tree in the breeze. We float back over here to the yin and yang side. There's the hook. Yes, we step out, single whip to the other side. Wave our hands like clouds. So the hooked hand sinks down. The other pulls across. As we step in, we turn to the yin yang side. So we have three steps sideways to go to the sun and clouds. A little bend to the knees, please. A perfect time to focus on our posture in Tai Chi. Feel the shoulders are heavy. Elbows are drawn to the earth. We feel a continual flow of movement as our waist gently turns us and then our waist gently turns us. So here with no step, we just feel the waist turn our hands toe to toe, kind of pinky toe to pinky toe, if you will. Now we got three steps to go back. Relax the jaw, relax your lips. A smile helps to relax your lips if you're not sure. And a smile just helps anytime. Now we stay here, feet apart. So now the hand that rises goes to sword finger. The hand that sinks goes to hook. And once again, we come back to single whip. We'll do one each side. We step sideways, we open up, follow the hand that by the palm that opens. The hand sink down. They sway like a weeping willow. We float to the other side. And we open up. Now here we step heels under hips, both hands open at the high horse. Just one time, we sink down. The wholeness of you sinks down. Hands closed. We turn over here to the yin yang side so the hands open up. We find our balance. We're gonna lift our knee as high as we can to keep us balanced. And the back of our hands draw to the tops of our thighs. 
We do the same movement to the other side. The waist turns you as the heels draw back under hips. A beautiful breath into the top. Lengthen spine and mind and breath. Now here we step forward for circular punch. So we go out to bow stance. There's that circular punch. Remember, it's extended away from the body, the width of your temple. And then we sink back in. Same move, other side. So we got to step in, right? The arms continue. There's no reason for them to pause. Now the hands open and they cross over the heart. We step back into place and we open up to lotus kick towards the sun and clouds. And then we scoop, hinge through hips and knees. The torso stays lifted. The fingertips come about to kneecap level or less, finding your perfect movement for you today. And we extend to the other side. Now arms reach out. Here we go, let's ward off. We're gonna go to sun and cloud. It's time for the fair maiden to work the shuttle. So the hand that comes down continues to make this big, beautiful circle. And we go out to our bow stance. The hand that rises is closer so the other one can push through. And then we let go. Remember the bend to the elbows, especially when you extend the arm out. Sometimes the arm just wants to keep going. We got a top to it. Here we go. So the arm is pushing, this bottom one. Just half, half of what you think it should be. Two more. Just continue to flow. Needle to the bottom of the ocean. So the palms of the hands come together. The first three fingers close. The feet can be apart or together. Find where it fits you best. Point the fingers to the camera. Let the elbows extend the hands away. We take a bow and we hinge our hips and knees. And for me, I bring my wrists to my knees, sitting my tailbone back. The hands separate. We float back up. Let's do that one more time, just so we can experience being the needle at the bottom of the ocean or point the chi down, guide it through you. Since your body is mostly water, you can send that needle to the bottom of you being the ocean. We bring the hands up. We open the big fan. We're going to step over here to the sun and clouds first. L stance, like single whip. Just the once. We step back into place. Same hands, except other foot steps out, and we look the direction of the foot we step out with. So it's in the letter L with the footwork. There we go. Now the hand that sits the sun and cloud, it closes and comes through the crest of the hip. And we bring everything back in like we're answering the phone and a little turn to the sun and clouds. The hands at the ear float to the heart and the hand behind floats up to shoulder, sinks down. Then the thumb turns up, circular punch. So the hand reaches from the heart and the other draws to the side. We rise up. We sink down. As we finish the punch, the hands, what's open is closed. What's closed is open. Draw in. Punch. Let both hands open now. We take a wide stance. You pick your wide, I'll pick mine. We're going to scoop up two times. Let the hips sink. What is comfortable? Feel the balance to both legs. If there's an issue in the tissue of the hips, knees, or ankles, heed to what that allows the range to do. So we keep the balance through the force.
Let the arms sink down beside you. Whichever foot you'd like to bring back in, we close the door. We come back to stillness. Well, that's just magnificent. Minus the snake, which this is a movement we just need to practice at another time. So we have our chairs at the beginning of class. Uh, but we did the 24 and we did it going both directions. So with that being said, I'm going to turn around. Like we're all in the park. Picture yourself. World Tai Chi and Qigong Day. The role there with the 60 plus individuals. We're all going to practice the 24 together. Let the arms become heavy. Wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers. Wiggle on the inside, let everything just get relaxed. So we're going to step to open the door towards the sun and clouds. So let's begin. We sink down. We step out with a breath in. Exhale as we sink down. Inhale, we rise. Opening the door. Hands rise and sink. Uh, next time we rise up, we're going to turn to the yin and yang emblem to ward off. Here we go. We ward off. The hand that sinks. Now, this can be the foot that steps forward. If you have the T-step, go ahead and take it. And we'll go back out and part the horse's mane. Just the one. Let's go to the other side. Now, when we get to the other side, family, we got a few to do over here. So first it is parting the horse's mane. If you got the T-step, let's take it. We come out. There's the horse's mane. Now we bring the foot back in as we wave hands like clouds. We step in. We step out with the same foot to become the white crane that spreads its wings. Just the once. There we go. Now the hands wave like clouds again. So remember what is up goes down. We step back in. There's our T step. Put some weight into the foot you brought in. And now let's brush knee. Remember the big turn in the waist. Just one time to brush the knee. Let's go to the other side. Breathe in, we draw in. Pull the clouds across the sky. Exhale. Remember the bend to the knees, please. Now I've got a few to do on this side as well. First, brush the knee. Second, we bring the foot in, hands to lower Dantian. We open up so we can play the peepaw. So we bring the foot in, so we can go empty step to go out. We step back in, let the waist bring the hands to center. We open up to the sun and clouds to repulse the monkey. Sink and push. Let's open. Now, unlike in the eight, this is only three times. So that's two. The palms go up. Remember the bend to our elbows. Sink the body. Now, this time when we open up, it's only so we can transition into the warding off. The arms still extend, but now they sink in. And here we ward off so we can grasp the sparrow's tail. The bottom hand floats up. T-step up we have, and let the sparrow fly away. Just one time. Now from here, we roll back. It's time for single whip. So we roll back. We go to the yin yang side for the hook. And then we go L stance to the sun and clouds to open up. So now we can become the clouds. So the hooked hand sinks down. 
We step away from the sun and clouds, heels under hips, and now it's three steps to the sun and clouds. Just be above the clouds, be a cloud, be light, light of burden, light of dis-ease, whatever that word means to us today. Shoulders relax and so do our fingers. So we bring our feet together. So here there's no step. Become aware of the energy, the force you may feel within you. It may be amplified in the palms of the hands. Now we have three steps away from sun and clouds. Check the knees. It's so much easier to move sideways when they're bent. We have one more step to go open, then it goes back to single whip. Try to move a little slower, especially if you're waiting on me to get there. Now the hand that rises, that turns to the sword finger. And as the sword finger comes across, we turn the heel in as the other hand goes to the hook of the flamingo neck. We step out to sun and clouds for single whip. Let the hand sink behind the back. We step in, a little turn, the hand draws the heart, the other hand draws up. Sinking down, drawing on the punch, the right hand, yin-yan side, circles, punches through. Now, because I forgot four steps, <laughs> let the arms extend out in front of you. Let's ward off over here to the sun and clouds. As the arms sink down, we turn to the yin and yang side and the hands close and open up to the yin and yang side. There's a big circular punch. Now we step forward with the knee and circular punch extended. We step back in, the palms open, forearms X over the heart. We lotus kick to the yin and yang side. Let the arms extend forward. We ward off to the clouds and we roll back for the fair maiden works the shuttle. So we have four fair maiden works the shuttle and we step out to the sun and clouds. And in the traditional form, you actually go all four directions. You go forward from here. You turn around and go directly behind me. So you basically you're going north, south, east, and west. But here we're going to step forward and symbolically step all directions of the compass. Two more. Stepping in. Rolling back. The bottom hand. There we go. Circle around. Let's take it out with a push. Ah. One more here to our yin and yang side. And from here we step back to become the needle at the bottom of the ocean. Fingers interlock. We point forward, we point down. Guide the chi through you. When we rise up, we open the big fan we go to the sun and clouds. Now the yin yang hand closes. We step back in. We're gonna repeat what we did already. Bring the hand down to the heart. The other hand circles up. And as we do the punch down, we circle around and step sideways into our horse stance for the punch to extend from the heart. The hands open, there's a big scooping up right there. Bring your feet together, however you like. Maybe it's two steps and we close the door. Pause. 
feel and breathe. Breathe in the force. A Dodger, Dr. Roger Shanky says that we have the healer within all that we need. Mind creates incredible chemicals to bring us happiness, to heal the body, to calm the body. Let the hands drift up to the heart. As they sink down, let's step open, just shoulder width apart. Now here, the hands open up. We're going to shift the weight so our toes go to the yin and the sun and moon. We're going to sink down. We're going to pick the moon up from the floor. Finishing with some qigong movements that I just really enjoy. We draw up the leg, guide the force. Turn the toe back center as we take the moon from the bottom of the ocean and set it to the sky. The waist continues to turn. The toe turns out. Take a bow. Let the head bow to the earth and pull the chi, the vital life force, through you. As we set the moon back to the sky. Honestly, I exhale on the way down because I want everything that's in my posterior chain to let go. And I breathe in from toe to sky. One more to each side. Now, as far as what I'm experiencing in my body right now, there's a lot of warmth going on. Maybe this is areas that I need the warmth to go to, because the entirety of me does not feel warm. Last one. Up to the sky. Open up. Gather the chi from all around. And sink it down into you. Come to pause. Feel. Notice what may be in the palms of the hands, that feeling. Let the hands like almost come together. And maybe you feel that push that you're not pushing. Well, actually you are because it's your force. And then draw that chi into you. Sink it down. Come to stillness. Arms are heavy. Let the crown of the head reach to the stars. Where else do we feel that sensation in the body? Do we feel a release, something that has become unstuck? Let's open up. Gather the chi. Because the force is with you. Just like Luke said, it's in everyone. And it's everywhere. Draw in the light. Draw in the healing. 
healing and happiness. Let's the body be more free of what is dis to us. Anything that's not ease, e. And here we think about those people, places, things, thoughts, and ideas that bring you, us, health, healing, hope, and happiness into our minds, our mental energy, into our hearts, our emotional energy, into our bodies, our physical energy. Draw the energy in. Sink into all of who and what you are, down to your atomic level. And with that, not only may the fourth be with you, but may the force always be in and through and around you. We don't need X-wing fighters to fly inside here. We can always just create and go.